So hey YouTube, welcome back to another video. videos. So today what we're going to be doing is I am going to be talking about the games that I'm excited for from that Sony event. With Sony not being at E3 this year and the past couple of years, I always do look forward to Sony's events just to see what they're working on and see what games I can get for my PlayStation consoles because PlayStation and Nintendo are my two main platforms. I do play Xbox but not as much as PlayStation and Nintendo. So going into this event I had no expectations. I didn't really know what to expect. The only thing that I was expecting was Deathloop to be shown again and that happened. But there were some incredible announcements from this event and I'm just going to get into the games that I'm excited for. The first game that I'm excited for was Project Eve. So I noticed straight away that this game was Korean because I seen like there was like a little banner in the trailer and I seen like the, the symbols and I was like that's Korean. Apparently this game was shown a while ago and it's actually a multi-platform game so it's coming to Xbox, uh, PlayStation and PC as well. And it was apparently shown like two years ago and I, I can't remember it. I honestly cannot place it. They showed quite a lot of gameplay for this one and all of it just looked really, really, really good. A lot of people were comparing it to kind of like Bayonetta and that sort of thing. It definitely looks like something that I'm interested in and it's definitely a game that I will look out for and I will hopefully try out at some point. The next game on this list is Forspoken. So this is like Square Enix's like first like fully PlayStation 5 next generation game. And I have to say, it, it looks really, really good. I always forget that this game has a new name though, because I think Forspoken's a terrible name for a game. Maybe it makes sense when you play the game why it's called that, but I still just keep on calling it Project Athea. Every time I say it, I go, oh, this is Project Athea. Or spoken. <laughs> but I, I did really, really, really like what I saw of this game. The gameplay just looks so solid and just so fluid and sleek. That kind of transversal, that like shot where she's like jumping over buildings and stuff. God, it just looked really, really, really interesting and good. And I liked the kind of witty like dialogue that there was as well between like the thing that's on her arm and that like that's kind of like the sidekick, I guess. There's only like little snippets of gameplay of this. I would love just to see like a full gameplay trailer and maybe closer to its launch. It looks really, really, really good. And it's definitely one that I will be looking out for and hopefully will pick up at some point. So another game from the event that I'm excited for is the Alan Wake remake. I played this game a little while ago, I think it was like last year, maybe it was two years ago on my Xbox 360. I got it for like a tenner in CX and I remember being like, oh this game is recommended to me, I'll buy it. I played it and I absolutely loved it and I really really do think that it is one that like if you haven't played, definitely need to give it a shot. I also think that the lighting effects are going to look good. Like so good on next gen like hardware and stuff, especially on the PS5. Like you could do so many cool things with like the dual sense and the lighting effects. Like you could do so much with it. And I just think it's gonna be really, really, really cool. And apparently all of the DLC from the Xbox version that was locked to the Xbox store it's actually going to be on the disc on this version. But if that's true, it's definitely going to be one that I pick up for the collection because I love having DLC on the disc and I didn't actually get to play the DLC, which actually includes the ending for Alan Wake. The pay for the ending. I was wondering why the ending just kind of ended. <laughs> I definitely think I will play through this game again along with the DLC just to get that, that actual ending. So exciting stuff there for Alan Wake. But now we get into the Sony stuff that was at like the, the end of the show. The only thing I can say about this event is it was really really weirdly paced. I don't know why they done all like the other announcements at the start and then all PlayStation Studios at the end. I think they should have scattered PlayStation Studios throughout but so the games that I'm excited for from the PlayStation Studios themselves is the first one Uncharted 4 and The Lost Legacy is being remastered. I'm a simple person. You remaster Uncharted, I buy it. I think it's because Uncharted was one of the first gaming franchises I really, really got into. Maybe that's why I just have this connection to Uncharted. But when I seen this, I was like, yeah, take my money, Sony. And there's so many people being like, you can, you literally get Uncharted 4 for free when you buy a PS5. Which is true, if you have a PlayStation Plus and a PS5, you get the PlayStation Plus collection and Uncharted 4 is on there for free. But you, I will probably buy it again. I'm a massive Uncharted fan and I'm glad to see these games getting 
kind of the remaster treatment, putting up the 60 frames. They're going to look great, add some ray tracing in there. They look fantastic. <laughs> you know, the games look great on PS4. They're going to look absolutely stunning on the PS5. But no, my only hope is that this gets like a physical release and that has like Uncharted 4 and Lost Legacy on the one disc. Just that would be very, very nice. And I will take a collector's edition of that, please. And the next game that I'm excited for is from the one and only, I would say Sony's like money maker at the minute, which is Insomniac. They're working on a Wolverine game. I was sitting watching the event and I was like, oh, I seen the Marvel logo and I was like, Spider-Man 2. And then it was like the pub scene and I'm just like, Oh, that doesn't look very Spider-Man-y. I'm like, oh, maybe like Peter Parker is on hard times or something. Like, I, I don't know. <laughs> and then as I seen more of the trailer, I was like, this is going to be Wolverine. And it was. And that's great. So this was a complete surprise, like completely. I don't think anyone was expecting it. And I'm very excited for this one because it's Insomniac and I also like Wolverine. So those two combined, great. I'll buy it, but I can't wait to see more of Wolverine whenever they're they're ready to show it. I know they're just kind of announcing that, you know, it's in development and this is something that we're getting. So it probably won't come out to like 2023, 2024. You know, it's gonna be a good, a good while away. But not just knowing that it's coming, Wolverine with that insomniac, like combat and stuff. Cool. I love it. The next game that I'm excited for from PlayStation themselves is Gran Turismo 7. So I like racing games. I've sort of fell out of racing games a little bit and I haven't really had much experience with Gran Turismo, but I was like, right, this one, this one I'm getting into. And every time I see gameplay off it, I'm just like, yeah, I want it. <laughs> I think graphically the game just looks stunning. Like there was that like bit in the trailer where you've seen them putting the decals and stuff on the car and then it cut to like the, the car drive down the road and it, it just looks so lifelike. It literally seems like you're gonna buy the game and you're gonna have to MOT it. The only thing that I'm worried about is the fact that this game was announced as like a PlayStation 5 exclusive at that PlayStation 5 showcase and now it's being ported to PlayStation 4 as well. So I hope that that doesn't hinder the PlayStation 5 version at all. And the last game that I'm excited for from the PlayStation event is Spider-Man 2. Of course, Insomniac was uh, working on Spider-Man 2. We knew that Spider-Man 2 was coming. The way that Spider-Man ended, you knew that it was setting it up for like a proper sequel. And Miles Morales was just like an additional thing. You know, if the first two Spider-Man games, you know, Miles Morales and Spider-Man, if those two games are anything to go by, Spider-Man 2 is going to be fantastic. It's Insomniac. They can do no wrong this generation in my eyes. They've done some fantastic stuff this generation, honestly. And this game is also confirmed to be exclusive to PS5, same as Wolverine. It's gonna look great. It's just gonna look so good. And I'm just really, 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 really excited to continue the story of Spider-Man because I love the first one and I love Miles Morales as well. So that's all of the games that I'm excited for. I will just add in this as a side note, God of War, looked good but I've never played a God of War game before so I can't really say I'm excited for it but it looked good and uh, I definitely will get into God of War at some point if I get the games for cheap. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please let me know in the comments down below what games are you excited for that's coming up soon. Any platform doesn't have to be PlayStation but what games are you looking forward to? But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it please give a big thumbs up and also Subscribe for this love and hopefully I will see you guys in the next video.